one hi friends welcome to my youtube channel today we will see chase command in an auto chase chase command in an auto chase it is used to verify the status of the jobs which are in running status or in the starting condition in the associated remote agents suppose the, uh, there are uh, several uh, client machine or a remote agent which are connected to the autosys server so if any of the remote agent went down or there might be some network issue in that case the jobs which are about to run or the jobs which already started so those information we will get by the chase command uh, in the point I have clearly mentioned what to explain and all uh, just I will go through the point the database is also inspected to determine which jobs are in the starting or running state and on which machine for each client chase passes list of jobs that are supposed to be running there to an agent the agent then verified that the processes are running the chase command to run the database should be up and if the database is up then what the chase command will do it will collect it will communicate to the remote agent and it will uh, get the information from the database which jobs are about to be running and which jobs are about to be starting and those status it will get communicated to the agent and from the agent it will get again reverse communication about the status of the jobs if it is still in running if it is still in starting status so those information it will take from the remote agent next point for command jobs running on a unix machine this is for a unix machine aix machine or a solaris machine or anything the agent also checks the process id when verifying verifying the agent is running chase checks that the agent has a lock on the agent log file we have a agent log file event underscore domain uh, file so it will better to check for the event domain event domain file that is a main uh, file whenever there is a troubleshoot for an autosys this thing we have to check the agent log file so there the log should be enabled for the log should be enabled there is one parameter in the configuration file uh, the parameter name is auto remote directory parameter so this should be enabled then only there there is a uh, locking locking is enabled on the agent log file then we will get to know like uh, the uh, remote agent is up and all the logs are uh, writing to the agent log file okay next point scheduler is when the scheduler is started so for to start the scheduler we have a command eventer ev en tor so this command if we run to start the scheduler this command it internally calls the chase command and chase command and eventer command both uses the same mechanism to communicate to the agent machine so it will give the exact picture of all the jobs list of jobs which are in starting condition which are in running condition okay this is an important point for chase command to run it is not mandatory that the scheduler should be up but it is mandatory that the database should be up database should be available then only chase command will work if, if suppose the database is down the chase command will not get to know the which jobs are about to run on the remote agent which jobs are about to start so in that case database should be up but it doesn't require it, it doesn't it is not mandatory for the scheduler part it might be down or it might be up but the chase command will take the 
corresponding communication from the remote agent but if a job uh, it is in starting or a running condition and it has an attribute n tries uh, okay i have mentioned in the last bit here n tries attributes if the job which is about to uh, which is about to start that is that means it is in st status or ru status running and it is having the n try attributes then the job if it is in the status starting st status this if it is having the n tries retries attributes then also it will not try to restart but if it the job is in running status and it is having n retries attributes then it will try to restart chase command but for restart to happen scheduler should be up keep in point the um, uh, these are the little bit confusing part for chase command to run i told like database should be up that is mandatory but the scheduler it is not mandatory it might be up or it might be down but if the job which is about which is in the running status on the remote agent then it is having an attribute n underscore retries attribute is there then the scheduler should be up for then only the chase command will try to restart that particular job which is in running but the same job with the attribute n underscore retries it is in st status starting status then the job it will not try to restart hope it is clear okay and the chase command it is uh, like a good practice to run the chase command in a regular basis at a regular basis like uh, suppose 10 minutes 20 minutes so that it will check keep on checking the remote agents uh, whether it is down if any uh, network issue is happening or something we'll get to know and we can um, alert uh, by setting an alarm and we can uh, send send event uh, send event uh, commands for the jobs which are running to failure we can change it to failure status it comes with two options hyphen a and hyphen e hyphen a it will send alarm when there is an error occurs when the remote agent is not connecting when it is down in that case it will send the alarm but the hyphen e part option it will put it will change the status of the job it will send a send event command like to uh, fail fail the job whenever the agent is not running or the client and for this database should be up and about end retries i have already told in the last uh, slides hope this information is useful for your friends thanks for watching please let me know if any information more information is needed about the chase command please add your comments so that i can create um, uh, slides with more informative thanks for watching